Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do an easy gel flower. Um, super easy, anybody could do it. And so first, I am going to need my gel polishes of choice. I'm using all from Sparkle & Co. Um, the white is number two, the black is number one. I'll link all the names in the description. Um, you need a dotting tool. And... I'm also using Sparkle & Co's awesome little brush set. I'm going to use this long detailing brush. And you're also going to need a gel top coat as well. But first, all I'm doing is I'm going to paint on one coat of white gel polish. And you could obviously do this with any colors you want. I'm just doing black and white for this tutorial. Um, and you could do it over dip powder too and just do the design in gel or paint whatever you want um, but I decided to do all gel for this one so one coat of white gel polish and just try to make it as even as possible um, you could always do a second coat whatever you want to do or a couple dips of powder however you want to do it but just one coat of white gel and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, and now that that is cured, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tile and it's just one of the free samples that I got from like Home Depot, sorry my little one wanted to help. Um, but it's just a free sample tile from Home Depot. You could use any kind of surface, the back of a piece of paper, whatever you want. Um, but I like this because it wipes right off with rubbing alcohol. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black gel polish on top of it. And I'm going to take my dotting tool. And you can do whatever size dotting tool you want. I like this, I don't know, it's kind of on the bigger side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my petals. And all I'm doing is three little dots, kind of make like a triangle with them, if that makes sense. Don't completely overlap them, but just a little bit. Um, just like that, so it looks like almost like a little triangle with the dots. And I'm going to do three of the petals on this one. You could do more than that if you want to, but I like how it's kind of off to the side. And then one dot in the middle for the center of your flower, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush from Sparkle & Co. You could use any kind of brush and I'm just going to touch the center of the dot and just drag it down towards the center dot of the flower. And this one's kind of solid but I'll go back in and show you how I fix that. So just kind of drag them inwards towards the center flower and do that for all three of the petals. But as you can see it'll come together a little bit more. But that's what it looks like so far. And like I said, anybody could do this flower. So simple and super cute, especially for the spring and summertime. Um, would be a really fun accent nail, kind of tropical, especially if you did different colors like maybe oranges or pinks or even yellows would be really pretty. And I'm going to add a little second one down here. This one's just going to be smaller. And it's only going to be, yeah, two petals or so. Do the center dot. And then the one dot off to the side to be the start of another flower. And I'm going to take the brush and just do the same thing and drag them towards the center dot. So, and then the ones on the outside, the, the petals on, you know, the two little dots towards the outside, kind of drag them in at an angle towards the center and it gives the more petal effect, as you can see. And so there's that so far. And now I'm going to cure that for about 30 seconds and also to clean this tile all you have to do is take a paper towel or whatever you want and some rubbing alcohol and wipe it right off super easy to clean up that's why I like using tiles and now that this is cured and dry I'm going to fix my petals a little bit and kind of add a little more dimension to them so they're not so solid so I'm just going to take a little bit of my white gel 
with my same brush that I used for the black. And that's how I clean my brushes too. No need for acetone. You could use just rubbing alcohol with gel and it comes right off. Um, I'm just going to put a very small amount of white polish on it. And just kind of touch it up. Add a little extra detail in there so you can see. So it looks a little more petal like. Just kind of break it up a little. Alright. Just like that. As you can see it's gives definitely gives it more of a flower look and now I'm going to stick that back in the light just for a few seconds just so that white polish is dry enough and also if you're interested in any of these products you can find them in the description I'll link everything and from sparkleandco.com if it's your first purchase you can use my name at checkout for a nine dollar credit and sparkle ten discount code will give you 10% off your order as well as free shipping over 25 and if you subscribe to a subscription bag that are open on the signups are open from the 20th through the 5th of every month um, if you use my name at checkout you'll get an $18 credit but anyway now I'm just going in with gel top coat and I'm doing just one nice coat over the entire nail and just make it even being gel you want it as even and no streaks so just as even as possible and it looks good to me so now what I'm going to do is cure that for I cured it for 30 seconds typically on my hand I would cure it for 60 seconds in an LED light so cure that for 60 seconds and then we will see the final product Okay, so now that that's done, here is our final design. And the cool thing about this is so easy. Anybody could do it. You could do whatever size flowers you want. And if you don't have a dotting tool, you could use an orange stick or a toothpick as well. But for this, if you don't have the dotting tool, you could definitely just use a toothpick or an orange stick. Anything to give you that rounded dot. Um... But yeah, here it is. And also the brush set you can get from the website as well, and I will link that too. But here's the final look. And thank you guys so much for watching. And please like and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Beautiful Nails by Katie. And thank you so much. Deuces and smooches.